There's no better way to escape the coronavirus that's stalking the world than to leave the world altogether. Astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley will be doing that on May 27th when they take off aboard a Crew Dragon spacecraft for a flight to the International Space Station. But before leaving, they had to ensure they weren't carrying the virus aloft with them. That meant quarantine, or crew health stabilization, as NASA calls it. For decades, NASA astronauts have quarantined before traveling to space, but that's not the way it always was. In the early days of the Mercury and Gemini programs, the idea of isolating the one- and two-man crews before flight was considered ill-advised and even impossible. There was just too much work for them to do to indulge any worries about colds and flus. All of that changed after the flight of Apollo 7, when astronauts Wally Shara, Don Isley, and Walt Cunningham came down with severe head colds early in what turned out to be a miserable 11 days in space. By the time of the Apollo 8 lunar orbit mission, a 21-day pre-flight quarantine protocol was put into place. The crew was scheduled to launch December 21, 1968, which should have meant quarantining from December 1st on. But President Lyndon Johnson had other ideas, and on the evening of December 9th, he held a dinner at the White House honoring the crew and the rest of NASA. That meant a late start on quarantining, with the 21 days cut to just 12. For the first three of the six successful lunar landing missions, Apollos 11, 12, and 14, there was not only a pre-flight quarantine, but three more weeks of isolation afterwards to ensure that the astronauts were not carrying any lunar pathogens back with them. By the time of Apollos 15, 16, and 17, NASA, reassured that lunar pathogens didn't exist in the first place, lifted the post-flight part of the lockdown. The three crews that flew to Skylab, America's first space station in the 1970s, had a longer three-week pre-flight quarantine period in keeping with the longer stretch they'd be spending in space. The shuttle crews got a break. Just a week of pre-flight quarantine, three days spent at crew quarters at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, and four spent in similar accommodations at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. With the coronavirus at large, Benkin and Hurley were assigned a longer 12-day quarantine period, five days in home isolation and seven at Cape Canaveral. They and the few technicians and medical personnel who have come into contact with them during quarantine were also required to have two negative coronavirus tests in order for the crew to be certified fit to fly. Where humans go, at least some germs hitch a ride with us. The key is to ensure as few as possible accompany us to space.